one hour later. Hey guys, Sam here. Uh, I wanted to show you a little bit of what I got. So consider this more of like an un unbox, maybe an unbagging. Is that the thing? Unbagging. Let me know if unbagging is a real thing. It's like an unboxing. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys my merch that I got at the Disney Character Warehouse. Now, some of you might be asking, what is a Disney Character Warehouse? Well, Disney Character Warehouse is a new store um, from the Disney Company. It's an outlet store, so it takes all the discounted prices. If you've ever been to uh, Disney's Cast Connection or Company D, it's similar to those things. Those things are solely for cast members, which are employees of the Disney Company. Um, but this one is open to everyone. It's located right in the heart of Central Florida in Orlando, right off of I Drive, so it's very convenient for anyone staying at the Disney parks or visiting any other theme parks that might be around. And if you're a Disney fan, then you know it's right there. So, so let me introduce to you some of the pros and cons of the Disney Character Warehouse. Number one pro that it's in a very convenient location. So, like I said, it is right off of I Drive. So whether you're staying at a Disney resort, uh, another parks resort, or even just somewhere in the Orlando area, it's very convenient because it's right off of I Drive, right in the heart of the tourism areas, and it's pretty easy to find that mall when it's right in the middle of everything. But that also leads me to my number one con, which is because it is so small and in a mall, it can be kind of hard to find. It took me, I got there right when the malls were opening, in the stores, I'm sorry, when the stores were opening inside the mall, which is at 11 o'clock. I got there right before 11 o'clock, and there was already a line, of course, as I've heard. I had not seen the line because, unfortunately, I didn't get to the store until a half hour after I got there. Like I said, the store is very small. It's probably about the size of the Spencer Gifts or Claire's that you'd see in a mall in a normal mall but this particularly kind of upset me because it is so small they have to keep it so hidden I know there are a lot of other chain stores there and franchises such as Nike, Under Armour, New Balance, uh, Champion, a lot of sports stores Victoria's Secret, Old Navy there are a whole bunch of stores here that are that have big signs and have their advertisements there so you can see them from above and it's very easy to find them Disney Character Warehouse does not have that. Now, I don't know if it's because they just opened and maybe they're getting it in the future, but me personally, it did take me a while to find the warehouse, and for that, I had quite a long walk. And with the face mask on, of course, in 90 degree weather in Florida, it's not always that fun. With that being said, another pro was the Disney Character Warehouse. Because it is an outlet store, its prices were so convenient and good for somebody who's shopping on a budget like me pretty much all the time. I love going to the Disney parks and shopping on a budget because not only does it help me budget my finances in everyday life, it helps me find deals that I wouldn't normally do if I was just impulse buying um, at the Disney parks or, or in Disney Springs or any other Disney store. I'd like to say really quick, everything in this bag that I got total was less than $20. Again, I'll say it, I love shopping on a budget because it leads me to find more things that people wouldn't normally see. It gets me to dig and dive deeper into the Disney stores. So, with that being said, I'll introduce my first buy. So when I went into the store, I looked for the first deals that I can find, anything that said clearance or everyday low prices, anything like that, you know, those signs that oh, sale, sale, sale. Uh, I kind of sell you what they're giving away. So I got this glow-in-the-dark t-shirt. This is a Hotel Tower of Terror shirt. It says, say goodbye to the world you know, drop in. Of course, there's the bellhop there and the people that haunt the Hollywood Tower Hotel. In the bottom, it says, one stormy night, five people stepped through the door of an elevator and into a nightmare. And there's a Hollywood Tower Hotel. A symbol and at the very bottom it says you can check in you can't check out and what's great about this shirt is not only is the sizing feel good the fabric not cheap at all it glows in the dark and this shirt I found for only $7.99 for me 
that's a steal. Whether I'm shopping at Disney, a thrift store, or Walmart, I don't care. Eight dollar shirts, who would want to pass that up? That's, it's, it's a bit of a deal. And Hollywood Tower Hotel, like, that's, it's, it's hard to find stuff like that without it being actually in Hollywood Studios. Um, so that's another pro about the Disney Character Warehouse, is a lot of characters or themes that you might not find in the Disney stores, you'll find here. Another thing I'd like to show you is something that I've been wanting to get from Disney for a while, but I can never seem to find the right price. Now, this is Disney's collection of patches. It's called Patched. Um, it's from the Disney parks. These are authentic Disney patches. And the retail price, it does say it on the back, it says $19.99. Um, I got all four of these in the collection for $4.99. It's just too good. And not only because Emperor's New Groove is its own cinematic masterpiece, but for one of these also in the store could have been $4.99. Um, in the parks, I have seen patches go for pretty good deals, let's say $12.99 to $9.99 in prices from highest to lowest. The lowest I've seen is probably about $8 to $10 for one patch. Um, in Disney Springs, you can get discounts, of course, with your cast member discount and things like that. Um, I did not use my cast member discount on any of these items. These are all retail price from the Character Warehouse. And I got all four of these total for $4.99. Now if that's not a steal, I don't know what is. So that's all I have um, today. I will be going back hopefully next weekend if not the following. Um, I would like to get there super early so that I can get a better look around and uh, see what they got. Maybe they'll get some new shipments in next week, who knows. There was a lot of things that I did not get to show you guys that I really wanted to show you. Um, but like I said, hopefully by next week I can get more time to really dive deeper into the store and see what else I can find. The cast members there were all really helpful and really nice, and the funny thing is, because of most of the transfers that are happening right now because of uh, the whole COVID situation, and my heart goes out to all the thousands of cast members who have been laid off, who have gotten the call and who are waiting to receive some type of call whether it is to go back to work or unfortunately being laid off my heart goes out to you all love to all my cast members who work so hard including the ones who were helping me out today and actually a lot of them were from culinary so props to the culinary people for having that uh, smile and positivity showing on, in the front of house but anyways uh i wanted to go back to the pricing like i said these are very convenient prices i found um, footwear for kids that were only about $25 and there were actual Crocs, um, Disney related, Disney designs. Um, I found hoodies there that were less than $25. I found, let's see, I found hats. All of the hats, including the one that I'm wearing, uh, this one I got by Cast Connection. Um, the others that were there were also only $8, so that was really cool to see. And of course, they had other souvenirs such as keychains and wallets and pins that you could easily take home for less than five bucks. How great is that? Not only that, but they also had eight dollar plushies and Mickey ears, so like I said, I will be back. No doubt about it. And everything, like I said, that I went to the Disney store, everything that I got, I spent less than twenty dollars. My limit was twenty, but I did not expect to actually spend less than my budget. For that, I saved about three to four dollars. And those three to four dollars might go a long way. Who knows? Maybe I could save up and then go back and buy those plushies that I've been wanting to get. Or go do my Christmas shopping there. Who knows? So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos like this one and go check out my other videos. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like and share. I'll see you guys next time.